Ladies and gentlemen, brides and grooms, wedding crashers, and party animals alike, welcome to another episode of Timeless Sagas. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating history of weddings, from their humble beginnings to the grand spectacles they've become. So, put on your best suit or dress, grab a slice of cake, and let's get started. Let's take a trip back in time to the early days of humankind, when our ancestors were still forming the foundations of society. It's important to note that marriage and weddings have not always existed in the same form as we see them today. In many ancient cultures, wedding ceremonies were more about forming alliances and securing the continuation of family lines than they were about love and romance. Ah, yes, the good old days of political marriages and dowries. As we stroll through the annals of time, we'll make our first stop in ancient Egypt. Here, marriage was primarily a private affair between families, and there were no grand wedding ceremonies. In fact, there wasn't even a word for wedding in the ancient Egyptian language. However, that's not to say they didn't have their own unique customs. For example, the bride and groom would exchange rings made of reeds, which may have inspired the modern tradition of exchanging wedding rings. Talk about a timeless trend. Next up on our wedding world tour, ancient Greece. Here, marriage was all about the dowry, a financial arrangement that involved the transfer of property from the bride's family to the groom. The actual wedding ceremony was a multi-day affair, beginning with a feast at the bride's home, followed by a procession to the groom's house, where the couple would be showered with gifts. And let's not forget the timeless tradition of smashing plates, a custom that is carried on into many modern Greek weddings. Now, let's venture into ancient Rome, where marriage was a legal contract and an important political tool. Roman weddings were lavish affairs, with the bride dressed in a saffron-colored gown and a veil called the flamium. The ceremony itself involved a priest, sacrifices to the gods, and a wedding feast that could last for days. Afterwards, the groom would carry his bride over the threshold of their new home, a tradition that many couples still practice today. Just make sure you've been hitting the gym before attempting this one, folks. As we move into the Middle Ages, weddings in Europe became more about love and less about political alliances, although, let's be honest, those still played a role. During this time, we started to see the rise of elaborate wedding ceremonies, complete with feasts, dancing, and music. One particularly interesting custom from this time period was the bedding ceremony, in which the newlyweds were escorted to their bedchamber by their guests, who would then bless the bed and leave the couple to consummate their marriage. Talk about a lack of privacy. Now, let's fast forward to the Victorian era, where weddings became the grand spectacles we know and love today. The iconic white wedding dress, which many brides still wear today, can be traced back to Queen Victoria's wedding in 1840. Before that, brides simply wore their best dress, regardless of the color. So, if you ever wondered why white is the go-to color for wedding gowns, you can thank Queen Victoria for starting the trend. The Victorian era also saw the rise of the wedding cake as we know it today, with its tiers and intricate decorations. Prior to this, it was more common for guests to bring small cakes and pile them up, creating a sort of cake mountain for the couple to cut. I don't know about you, but I can't imagine a wedding without a magnificent cake to dig into. As we approach the 20th century, weddings continued to evolve with changing societal norms and values. The 1920s, for example, saw the rise of the flapper wedding, with brides donning short dresses and embracing the carefree spirit of the time. Then came the 1950s, with its glamorous Hollywood-inspired weddings and the iconic ball gown silhouette. And who could forget the 1980s, with its over-the-top fashion and big hair? Each decade has left its mark on the history of weddings, making them a true reflection of the times. In today's world, weddings come in all shapes and sizes, with couples often opting to personalize their ceremonies to reflect their unique love stories. From intimate backyard weddings to lavish destination celebrations, the options are endless. We've also seen the rise of same-sex weddings, as more and more countries legalize marriage equality, allowing love to truly conquer all. So, there you have it, folks, a whirlwind tour through the history of weddings. It's fascinating to see how these celebrations have evolved over time, reflecting the ever-changing values and customs of society. Whether it's exchanging rings made of reeds or wearing a white gown inspired by Queen Victoria, the history of weddings is a testament to the enduring power of love and the human desire to celebrate it. Thank you for joining me on this journey through time, and remember, no matter where or when a wedding takes place, love is always at the heart of the celebration. Until next time, this is Timeless Sagas, signing off. <laughs>